Welcome back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. If you're new here, please do remember you can subscribe so that you don't miss when I send out new videos. On today's video, it's another uh, machine uh, dishwasher uh, maintenance. This time around, I did buy something that one of my viewers recommended and I think uh, the results may turn out to be a little bit different. This is what I'll be using is a Finnish uh, dishwashing uh, deep cleaning deep cleaner. Uh, I have never used it before so this is my first time and I will surely be showing you the results and the review because at the end of the day you want to try out a product, you want to make sure that you've tried out and you have seen the results before you could recommend it for somebody else to use. Uh, I am not uh, I'm not promoting this product, I am just saying, as I said, this is the first time that I'm using it, so if I like it and you see the results on me doing on my dishwasher, then you may decide you want to actually go ahead and use it. Uh, the, recommend, uh, the instructions are at the back, so this is meant to be used as a whole dose. Uh, there is a tape that you need to remove uh, here and then you turn the bottle at the um, last shelf in your dishwasher and then you can be able to run the machine. It recommends you to run the machine on the highest uh, intensive uh, clean cycle but because on my machine which is a Bosch uh, Series 2, it has a specific place where it shows machine care, so I will just automatically use my machine care cycle rather than uh, using um, whatever the recommendation, which is an intensive care cycle. So let's see how we do. So uh, this is my uh, dishwasher, Series 2, as I said, Bosch. So. Uh, as I said, it has the machine care and uh, when you're using this dishwasher uh, deep cleaner, you need to use it every uh, three months. That's the recommendation uh, from the manufacturer. And it says, as you can see here, it says uh, wash every three months. So what I'm going to do, I am not going to do the washing because you need to do a little, a little bit of my, 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 uh, manual cleaning because even as the manufacturer recommends, it is important to actually remove the bits. So uh, like your arms, you, remove, you, you need to remove your arms. So like this is removable, I will need to remove it first. And then I will also unlock and remove the arms. That is the first arm, and that is the second arm. And on here, this is where we usually uh, pour in the salt. You first uh, pour in water and then you pour in salt up to the brim. So I will be adding salt because uh, it's quite uh, low. The salt is for softening the water because where we live, the, wa the water is had is considered hard water so we need to add uh, salts to ensure that uh, there is no much of lime build up which is one of the biggest culprits of actually making the machine to malfunction so i will leave that and I will close. And then I also will need to remove the filter. So these are the bits that I have to do the manual cleaning before I actually uh, run the dishwasher with the recommended uh, deep clean from finish. So. 
let's do the dish uh, the manual clean first so you see this is the filter just look how filthy it looks uh, it's recommended that you remove the filter to wash uh, for every cycle I don't think most people do uh, I don't remove mine uh, at every cycle but it depends on how dirty the dishes have been so you can see this one is quite dirty I need to you need actually just wash it every few cycles so it's important uh, the filter is actually kept clean and unclogged because at the end of the day you want to make sure that there is no drainage and blockage problems after you've washed your dishes or, or used your dishwasher for such a long time that you will still be good to go and use it and let it serve you for a long time one thing I'll also recommend is it's important to always read your um, manufacturer's instructions for you uh, and also remember it is important when you buy a new appliance like uh, your dishwasher make sure that you read all the instructions that the guarantee for your um, insurance so that in case there is any breakdowns and uh, you're still within uh, the guarantee you can have uh, repairs or uh, things which can be replaced easily without you having to pay extra but as well it's also important to make sure that you have insurance uh, which covers even past the period of the manufacturer's guarantee um, at least that way you are covered whichever way with the manufacturer and also for yourself just in case the machine breaks down just after your cover has already expired and it's usually not so much money you can get insurance for about maybe two or three to five pounds a month so it's not so much uh, and it doesn't feel so much and it's important so that sometimes if a machine can break down and you are in a place where you have no finances in that moment you have a saver because you are insured so all these bits are now nice and clean it doesn't take long that's why I I, I, I as the manufacturer recommends it's just really a simple process if you remove it each and every time I don't but each and every few washes it is very much doable so that is my filter is clean and that's the additional bit so we'll put it back we are putting the arms back make sure it's nice and locked in oh this one i need to put it after i put my filter in so my filter i put it back in Unlocked, and then I put my other arm in, it's working. So now I will put the lower shelf. And this is where they say you remove this, you don't open the cup, you just remove this top open you don't remove the lid you just turn it upside down 
and that's the way you leave it and then you push it inside and then the soap will just distribute inside as it just leaks slowly by slowly and that now we can start our machine care uh, program as i said uh, before on this one uh the, the recommended uh cycle is the intensive care which is 70 uh 70 degrees but i will be using my one which has a machine care program i don't know what uh, degrees is on but i will be using that one rather than uh, the recommended 70 degrees so we'll have a look how it goes so that is machine care so that's what i will press and i don't know what is the temperature but i will be hoping that that is the same kind of um, temperature as is recommended for uh, deep cleaning so i will press that and in two hours and 10 minutes we will see the results so the machine is all done let's just have a look how it's all turned out uh, so i'm opening it's still quite warm uh, what i can say is because i hadn't uh wiped down because you need to wipe down all those things so i will do that uh, quickly because at the end of the day the machine doesn't wash all these bits so these ones i can wipe them down where the machine doesn't actually go but the rest of the bit is all nice and clean uh, so if you want to have a look inside uh, whatever is left here is just uh, water because this is where all the soap came out from and whatever is in here is just uh, water rather because the stuff was apparently turned up, up, up side. As you can see it's all nice and shiny the most important thing is when you look inside uh, you can see it is so nice and shiny everything has turned out a okay i can see my filter is absolutely looking as good as new so you can see it's all nice and clean and yeah i could say uh this was not meant to be here, but well, I did not check what was, was on the tray. So I'll leave it there until it's actually uh, washed when it's having the proper wash, but it is still clean, I would say. But yeah, I am happy with the results and I think it is not uh, so much about how it actually looks, it's knowing that whatever uh, soap, uh, I use for deep cleaning is the right recommended one and I think it is something that we should always think about using the right uh, composition and makeup of the required detergent so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video be sure to like gives me a, a thumbs up and even consider to subscribe because at the end of the day when you come back and you subscribe into my uh, channel then it means i will be able to do some more and get uh, you more content and uh, i love also you coming by and seeing what i am doing because i am growing together with you you are part of my family and so i really appreciate you coming back again and again and uh, i do hope i will see you in the next one so for now